Not all comic collectors are looking for the cheapest comics. Sometimes you're looking for some of the key issues that are a little bit more expensive. Here are five books between the $1 and $300 range that you could pick up that you could definitely add to your collection. Want to know what they are? Stick around and I'll tell you. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and my cat is desperately dying to try and get in on this video. He's been knocking over the camera for about 50 takes. So I thought I'd get him to lay down a little bit because he wants to say hello, and some of my fans love when my cats make an appearance. So here we go. So I'm going to show you guys five comics that are in the roughly around the $1 to $300 range, probably more towards the $100, especially when you're talking, you know, lower to mid-grade. Uh, obviously, if you're talking 9.0s and up, you're talking in the thousands, so I'm talking about the reasonable comics, because to me, like I always say, low grade is better than no grade, so if you also view that, then these are definitely comics you can add to your collection. So, before I show the first one, make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber by hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and check out my videos. So, here is comic number one. And that is Strange Tales issue number 107. Uh, this is a very early appearance of Submariner. Uh, this, as a matter of fact, is his fourth appearance in the Silver Age. Uh, first time he appears in a Strange Tale um, comic. So this might be one to pick up. I absolutely love this cover. It's one of those less is more kind of covers for me. Definitely the beautiful type of Silver Age book, which my cat seems to agree on. Uh, this is a book... That you can get relatively cheap. I paid $57.99. You guys know me. I always get good deals. Uh, this comic is probably going to run you about $100 to $150 in mid to lower grade. Uh, I wouldn't spend more than that unless it's a high grade. But uh, definitely a book you might think about. Because who knows if they're ever going to be able to use Submariner. But if they do, comics like that where there's first appearances are definitely going to be on the rise. Uh, this is one for people who cannot afford a first appearance of a character. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 17. This is the second appearance of Green Goblin. But there is something significant because it is the first time you see his glider. Because if you see an Amazing Spider-Man 14, which is the first appearance, uh, he kind of has what I like to call a magical vacuum. So um, definitely a book to get. It's going to be a lot cheaper than the first appearance because, you know, you're talking even a 0 0.5 is going to cost you three or $400. You could definitely get this one under the radar. You could see this is probably a 3.0 to a 2.5 range. I paid $93.61. So under $100, you're probably going to spend about 100 to about, um, about 175 again, mid-grade. I'm kind of keeping the prices in the mid-grade um, mid range. Obviously, if you have the money to afford a higher grade, you're going to be talking in the thousands if you can get them. You know, like they say, God bless you. But uh, I know a lot of my people like to try and keep them as inexpensive as possible. So it's just a matter of time before Green Goblin ends up in a Spider-Man movie. And when he does, you know people are going to flock. And since the first appearance is going to be really expensive, next best thing is the second appearance. All right. This one, the number is actually ripped off because the corner's missing. But this is Strange Tales issue number 101. Uh, this is the first Silver Age appearance of the Human Torch since the Golden Age. So with the fact that eventually the Fantastic Four are going to be back in the hands of Disney and Marvel, uh, it's just a matter of time before the hype for the Fantastic Four is going to go ballistic. So getting first appearances like this is amazing because remember... You know, the Human Torch was created in the Golden Age. So even though he is known, best known for being in the Fantastic Four, this character was created, and the same thing with Submariner, way before the Fantastic Four was even a thought. 
So uh, this is the first Silver Age appearance of the character. Um, this book, because of the fact that part of the corner is ripped, I only paid $55 for this book. But uh, you're going to, again, spend about $150 to about $200 for this book in mid to lower range. Definitely a book to pick up if you can get. Next up, a lot of people are not familiar with this book. And... I didn't know it for a while, but that's the beautiful thing of looking at other people's videos and doing your research. Eventually you find things, and this is the best way to do it, because with comic book covers, you know, people are very, you know, sight-oriented, and when you see the book, it's going to make you never forget it. This is Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, issue number 70. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. So this is a very significant book, and goes under a lot of people's radars because most people are not going to think of a Lois Lane book as something of value. But this is an absolute key book to get um, because a lot of people are not going to know about it. You can get this book cheap. Now, I bought this about two or three years ago. I only spent $29 on this book. You're definitely not going to be able to get it for that, but you never know. Check a yard sale. Check, um, check um, antique stores, pawn shops. You never know. This one might be a, one of those you could pass, that many people pass up that you can get for cheap. But if you're going to look on eBay, you're probably going to spend about $80 to about $150. Again, mid to lower grade. Um, anything under $100, pick it up. Unless, I mean, it's a 0 0.5. I mean, stay away from those. Because this is a hard cover to um, get in higher grade because of the mostly white background. It's going to get very dirty, especially if people read them back in the days, which most people did. But this is a book most people don't know about and pass up all the time. So you can sometimes snipe a good deal with that one. All right. And the last one for this one, uh, before I show it again, make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber, subscriber shout out. If you want one, just hit subscribe and leave it in the comment section. If you want one, I will write your name down. And, um, Give support to the people to get the shout-outs. Wait until the end. Show people that you actually do care so it's more than just the person that's getting it. Leave a little comment for them. Show the support. I guarantee you there are people who appreciate that. So here's the last one for this, and I will have more of these down the line. But this is a book you absolutely should get, in my opinion. And it's definitely another one of those books under the radar that people aren't paying attention to right now. This is X-Men issue number 14. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Sentinels. And again, with the fact that the X-Men are going to be coming back to Disney and Marvel, um, I cannot wait until they use Sentinels the right way. I mean, I used to love, especially in the 90s, the X-Men run, the Jim, especially the Jim Re Lee run, where they did a lot of the series based on the Sentinels. Good reads if you if you get the chance to read them. I think it's around like 272 ish in the uncanny x-men series but this is definitely a key issue to get and many people are skipping over it because why nobody's talking about it and there's no topics about a tv show or a movie right now so most people are staying away from it that means lower prices which means buying opportunity don't be like 90 percent of the collectors out there who will wait until they mention the sentinels before they buy it because then you'll spend three times the price why do that? This is not milk. It will not expire in a week. So um, I didn't write the price on this one, but I can guarantee you I spent under $100 for it. I guess that was back a couple years ago before I started writing the prices because I did get this one a while back. But you will probably buy this book again for the $1 to $200 range. Obviously, higher grades are going to be much higher than that. But this is another book like the Lois Lane book that people are passing up right now and may not think about them. That is the time to pounce. So, in my opinion, this book is a sleeper pick because eventually you're going to see the Sentinels in a Marvel movie, and that is going to get everybody getting this book. Don't be one of those people unless you like throwing your money away. So those are the five books. We got X-Men 14. We got Lois Lane issue 70. We got Strange Tales 101. Amazing Spider-Man 17. And another Strange Tales 107. So hopefully you will see these books. If you got them, let me know what prices you paid. Let me know what you think about these overall. If you haven't gotten them, enjoy the hunt. 
wait for deals. Don't be afraid to ask for deals, even if there isn't a best offer. Just make sure, please, you do it respectfully. And understand, not everybody's going to say yes, so don't get frustrated. Keep trying until you succeed. Change the attitude. Don't say, oh, I don't have it or I can't get it. Say, what ways can I come up with to be able to acquire something I want and have fun in the process? Because that's what it's all about. If you're stressed out over getting comic books, you really need to start rethinking the way your life is headed. This is supposed to be about fun. Yes, you can make money on these. And yes, it is. It can be lucrative. And yes, there are going to be many a time you're going to fail and you're not going to get the things that you want. But make it into a game. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. And my cat agrees. Do you agree? Yes, he does. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you watched until this point, tell me which cat this is. He's being shy right now. So you probably may not know, but his name is Oregon. It's O-R-G-O-N-E, not Oregon the state. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. And let's zoom in on the cat, who seems to be a ham. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!